So today we would like to show how you can connect to, to your HANA backend with the HANA Studio to reach your customers' databases and yeah, create queries there or execute queries in it. Um, for this demonstration, we use a test system and we use our web access. So please note that um, when you use the RDP, for example, it looks a, bit, a little bit different, but in the end, it's the same. So um, at first, we have to, to start the HANA Studio and yeah, just wait a little until it comes up. Um, to connect to to the HANA system, you need um, yeah you need a HANA server. You need the username and you need uh, the password of the system uh, for the, for the username to connect to it. Um, if you have these three things, you you can easily connect with the HANA Studio to it. Um, ah, it comes up. Um, at first, it asks always uh, for workspace. I would like to say that this workspace should be yeah the default. You can place it in your profile. Um, please be careful when you place it anywhere else that uh, we um, or that you're working maybe on a farm with several servers. So when you place it on a C drive, not in your user profile. Um, it can happen that the system cannot find it when you redirect it to a different server on the next time. And also you can share it with any other users. So if you put it in default and one other user will, is connected to it and they use the same workspace, they can't open the HANA Studio right now when you are connected. So and next, yeah, we have to wait a few seconds until it's fully started. Oh, this is the, the first time on this system that I start the HANA Studio. So it it maybe takes a little bit longer as it has to create a workspace and um, um, also to initialize yeah, the, the Eclipse and, and so on. There it goes. So when you start the Nana Studio the first time, it, it, it asks you if you want to create a secure space that you want to provide with a password or something else. You can do it. In this case, I will not do it, but yeah, the option is there. Um, when you are connected to, or when you open the Hana Studio, you, you still have no systems in it. Um, to add a system, we need to click here to add system, and then a wizard will come up uh, where you have to enter the parameters to yeah, connect to your HANA system. So in my case, I have to enter my HANA server, and I have to enter the instance number. The instance number on our environments are always 0, 0. And uh, yeah, this is yeah, the default system. And we always have single container. We don't use multi-container systems. Um, and next you can define a description that's up to you how you would like to call it and yeah, your local and, and so on. In the next field it asks you for, um, for the database credentials to log in. We always use database user. We don't use operating system user. Uh, so in my case, the user is demo and I've changed my password. And you can click, yeah, or you can tick this uh, store username and password in secure storage if you don't like to put in the username again. Um, you don't have to, to take any other things like connecting using SSL or HTTPS. Um, that's something we don't use at the moment. You can go ahead, click next, and you can skip this. You don't have to put in any certificate or something else. 
in the end just click finish and we can see our system is connected um, what you see now on the on the left plane is depending on your permissions in HANA in the in the HANA backend so I have now a limited user here so I can only see uh, a few databases in it I can't see um, the content or also the security um, view is limited to me um, I can see a few users but for example when I go to to one of the users um, I can just view at them I, I can't yeah as you see the the, the fields are grayed out uh, I can't modify them um, the default settings for yeah for for us are that we grant you access to the customer databases so that you can create queries procedures or views on them um, if you have our own service unit you still have access to other parts as we provide the system user um, that has um, yeah more permissions than the users we provide in dedicated environments so in this case when you have the system user you can modify the securities or in the content or um, yeah creating schemas and and, and so on